Welcome back to VBAR 101. First thing we're going to do today is to go over the TX calibration step. Please note that uh, it's important to do the steps in order. I mean, I don't look at the servers now. We haven't come to that step. Don't bother about sensors and which way they're working. We we'll go through each step um, as, as we... Um, in, in later episodes. For, uh, actually, first thing up, I'm gonna load my uh, my uh, Aurora preset, which I talked about in the previous version. You will see up now, I'm connected, and as soon as I load the preset, it will start to send the information over to the helicopter. On the TX calibration, the first business of order is to go into expert screen and we need to define either we are using what's called here separate channels that is if you're using external uh, receiver it will take all, uh, each cable into the v-bar on the input side or in this case i'm using spectrum satellites then i need to select spectrum in this drop down as I do so, I will need to press the DX7 default. It doesn't matter if you have a 9303 or 12X or whatever, but as long as you have a spectrum radio, you should press that one. What happens then is actually setting the channel numbers. These are uh, the satellites are transmitting, and this is the order which is signal coming in. Uh, to get AUX2, you actually have to change this to number 6. Also, since this is a new setup, I'm going to do prepare bind. And uh, what that does is, next time the V-bar is restarted, it triggers the bind process of the receivers. So I will now switch... I unplug the v power for the V-bar and then plug it back in and you will uh, see down here that the receiver is in bind mode I take my radio, do the regular uh, receiving procedure by pressing the button on the back while starting up the radio and we will see the satellites beginning to blink and then we should get a solid state and we're done with the binding process Coming back here in the program, uh, we actually go back to regular mode. Now we are going to calibrate the radio against the V-bar so it knows the direction correctly and it knows the endpoints correctly. Uh, there is a, a compiled list of uh, radios on the V-bar. Uh, actually the stabi.info site where you can uh, see where you're gonna in the general range where where server reversed and such things are going to be I'm gonna show you here how to do it uh, from start first of all let's check uh, where we have aileron and I just moved the aileron and as you can see it actually moves the correct direction right and we have 100% this radius pre-programmed actually I have 101% on the left so I need to lower the ATV on that side elevator push it forward and it should go to push push it pull it backwards and it should go to pull, pull. same thing with rudder left right we're good there collective going positive negative and we're good there also you should um, if you have depending on which speed controller you can calibrate the throttle speed controller you will see the number here I'm not gonna do that in this uh, particular but it's the same thing if you have um, a full range of throttle so this means that I should adjust a little bit on the ATV but it's fairly good uh, all the directions are correct so my TX calibration step is after I adjust those ATVs uh, completed. 